Hi everybody, Jacob Breed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to be looking at the impact of foreign exchange rates on net exports. If after watching this video you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the Total Review Booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your AP microeconomics or macroeconomics exams. Let's get into the content. First of all, we're going to take a look at what happens when a currency appreciates. And to start off, we're going to look at two goods, a US made soda and a soda made in Mexico. Now the US made soda costs $3 and the soda in Mexico costs 40 pesos. If we assume that the exchange rate for the US dollar is 20 pesos, that will mean that the US soda will cost 60 pesos in Mexico and the soda made in Mexico will cost $2 in the United States. And if we take a look at the foreign exchange market for the US dollar, we see that the current equilibrium exchange rate is 20 pesos per US dollar. If we see an increase in the demand for the US dollar or a decrease in the supply for the US dollar, both of those shifts will cause the US currency to appreciate. In this case, the new exchange rate is 40 pesos per US dollar. And if we get back to our example with the sodas and we see that the new exchange rate is now 40 pesos, how will that impact the price of the domestic soda and the foreign soda? Well, the US soda was worth 60 pesos in Mexico, but now with the new exchange rate, it is worth 120 pesos. And likewise, the soda made in Mexico is now worth $1 in the United States. So that tells us that the imports are going to cost less and the exports are going to cost more. So when a currency appreciates, imports or foreign made goods are cheaper and exports or domestic goods are more expensive for foreign consumers. That causes exports to decrease, imports to increase, and as a result, net exports, exports minus imports will decrease. And if you connect that to the things you've already learned about the balance of payments, that means the balance on the current account is going to decrease and the capital and financial account balance is going to increase as a result. If we take a look at the impact of the decrease in net exports on the ASAD model, that means that the aggregate demand curve is going to decrease because net exports is one of those aggregate demand shifters. And that means that the currency appreciation has caused the output to decrease and the price level to decrease as well. So what happens if a currency depreciates instead? Well, let's take a look. So if we have an exchange rate of 40 pesos per US dollar. That means the Mexican soda is going to cost 40 pesos or $1 and the US soda is going to cost $3 or 120 pesos. If we look at the foreign exchange market, if we see an increase in the demand or a decrease in the supply or a combination of both, either of those shifts or both of them combined will cause the currency to depreciate. Here we see the exchange rate dropping from 40 pesos per US dollar back down to 20 pesos per US dollar. Of course, that means that the currency has dropped back down. And so the value of the US soda in Mexico has dropped back down to 60 pesos. And the soda made in Mexico is now $2 in the United States. So when a currency depreciates, that means imports are going to be more expensive to US consumers and our exports are going to be cheaper to foreign consumers. That means our exports are going to increase, imports are going to decrease, and net exports are also going to increase. And in regards to the balance of payments, the current account is going to increase and the capital and financial account is going to decrease. Over on that ASAD model, we are going to see an increase in the aggregate demand curve as a result of the increase in net exports because net exports, as you know, is a shifter of the aggregate demand curve. And so the currency depreciation is going to increase our real output and increase our price level as well. All right, that was a quick video. And if you got it all, you're on your way to acing your next AP macroeconomics exam. If you still need a little more help, head over to reviewecon.com and practice with the foreign exchange market game. If you still need a little more help after that, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your AP microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. That's it for now. I'll see you all next time.